Hey everyone, it's Intel here. This mouse right here is the Razer Viper Ultimate, and this is pretty much as end game of a gaming mouse that you can get right now. It's fully wireless, it has a 20,000 DPI optical sensor, optical switches, PTFE feet. Once again, this is probably one of the most specced out modern gaming mice that money can buy right now. However, this video is not on the Viper Ultimate, but it is on this. So this mouse right here is a vintage 1986 Apple mouse, or what I like to call the toenail mouse. These two mice are polar opposites of one another. While the Razer Viper Ultimate is probably one of the most modern gaming mice that you can buy, this Apple mouse is from way back. It's so simple. It literally only has a left click. I don't even know how I'm going to play with this thing. But the focus of this video is going to be trying to PvP with this mouse. And dude, it's not plugged in right now, but I have no idea how I'm going to play with this thing. It literally only has a left click. It doesn't even have a sensor, it has a trackball. Don't expect me to do well, like this video is going to be a complete disaster, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the intro. Also, I have my Lunar Client cape, you should totally buy it, it gives you godly powers. But with that being said, let's get right into this. Okay, so we're on our first game with the Apple Mouse. I'm going to talk about this thing a whole lot in just a sec. I actually had to go through so many hurdles to get this thing working in the first place. So right now, I don't have a right click, so I'm actually using my G key as a right click. I rebounded my G to right click so I can actually open these chests. I'm also going frog kit because I really don't want to have to bridge without uh, actually being able to place my blocks. So let's go ahead. Oh, we got our first kill. Okay, that was literally the easiest kill in the world. That got us a helmet and a diamond sword, which is actually actually exactly what we needed. Um, hopefully I can kill this dude. Okay, I can just straight line people. No, dude, 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 dude. Let me win. Okay, how am I actually killing people right now? Like, what is this? I'm literally using a mouse from the 1980s. Okay, I need to heal up. Um, you can go away. Please don't be good with a rod. Hey, buddy, you want to fight me? Pretty please. Um, okay, we have our next victim of the 1980 mouse. Oh, I'm so weak. Come on, I have strength. Uh, I'm gonna heal up. Wait, it's uh, it's literally this is the last guy. Okay, uh, I'm gonna regen pot So I actually have healing. I have speed as well. I actually think I might win this. Okay Hey, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> we won our first game! We won our first game with the Apple Mouse! I was not expecting this. So as I said before, this is a 1986 Apple Mouse, and as some of you guys may or may not know, uh, USB was not a thing in the 1980s. Uh, they had two main ports to plug in your peripherals, and those were PS2 and ADB, which stands for Apple Device Bus. So ADB connectors were exclusive to Apple products at the time, so uh, if you wanted to plug in a mouse like this, you needed an Apple computer because that would have the only port that would support it, which is a real pain in the ass. Okay, let's get this guy. He seems to be really hardcore focused on this dude that's running. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean that from him. Actually, I'll just let him run. Uh, you're sort of scary. You're like a lot in diamond and there's another person coming. I'm gonna take the kill and then you're gonna be weak because I have strength. Get that. You? <laughs> Can I get on a kill streak with this mouse? Nah, that dude's gonna run. Um, let me go ahead and put it on the armor, get the helmet, and I'm looking pretty stuck. But anyways, if you normally wanted to use a mouse like this on a Windows-based machine, you were essentially out of luck because there was literally no way you could plug it in. So what I had to buy was a converter. Okay, I think this guy is going to come for me. I'm going to throw that. Completely missed. Uh, please just get off the map. I'm really low. Um, I'm out. Um, dude, this, this is this dude chasing me? Can, can you not be chasing me, dude? I was trying to eat a gapple, but like I, I'm so not used to using G as my right click. Anyways, to actually be able to use this thing, I had to buy a custom ADB to USB converter. Now the problem with that is that barely anyone was selling an ADB to USB converter. In fact, I was only able to find one person selling it at the time, and the price was not cheap. Fun fact, the price for the converter was actually more than what I paid for the mouse itself, and it took like three months to ship. Hey, you can just go off the edge pretty please. Thank you so much. Uh, this guy is going to push into me, but I have strength. Um, let me get your gear. Oh, he's going to fall off the edge too. Okay, what about you, dude? Do you want to give me your gear? 
Uh, okay, nice. Wait, I actually have really good loot right now. I'm pretty much like maxed out. Okay. So for a mouse from the 1980s, like this is actually not bad. Sure, it only has one button and the shape is literally like a square, but it's not that bad. Okay, dude, you're gonna have to fight me here. Uh, okay, he's off the edge, GG. No way are we gonna win another game with this. Hey buddy, I'm going to jump on you and there we go, five kill a game with a mouse that is literally from the 1980s. Oh my God, I'm nuts. So the physical construction of this mouse is fully plastic. I think it is ABS, but it's not bad quality plastic. It is actually very good. It's pretty thick and pretty strong. I mean, it's no wonder it lasted like between 30 and 40 years. Okay, I literally got like the worst possible possible chest RNG that you could get. That's pretty cool. Hey buddy, you want to give me your loot so I have a fighting chance in this game? Uh, uh, wait, he's just punching me. That's perfect. Okay. I don't know why he didn't use his sword. He probably would have easily won, but now we actually have like viable loot to play with. Even the click, like it only has one left click, but this click is actually like really easy to jitter on. Like you can see, like I'm actually getting high CPS with this. Um, okay. This person wants to come for me. Maybe. Do you want to fight me, dude? Oh, he's using one of those. Dude, come on, buddy. Play without a KB rod. I know you want to play without a KB rod. That person has stacks loot. Let me take that off you, pretty please, sir. Oh my god, I'm destroying him. And he's gonna KB me off the edge. Oh, actually, he isn't. Okay, I want that. GG. So let's actually do a click speed test with this thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start jitter clicking as fast as I can here. You can see I'm peaking like 14 CPS, which is actually insane with this. Like I am, I'm genuinely so impressed. Like this actually might click faster than my G Pro wireless, which is insane. But yeah, probably the worst trait about this mouse is, uh, besides the fact that it doesn't have a right click, is uh, its sensor, which it doesn't exactly have a sensor. Um, let's see if I can get that kill get you now. There we go. And then there's this guy. Why are people going for me while I have strength? It's not a good idea. Okay, this guy's actually using snowballs. Uh, please. Like, if, if someone just uses, like, a rod or snowballs on me, they can beat me so easily. Um, okay, I'm not falling for that. But anyways, let me go ahead and take the time to explain the sensor. And this doesn't actually have a sensor, it has a trackball. And basically how it works is that the ball rotates on the surface, which is your mouse pad and that's how it gets motion and it's actually very accurate like um there's no inherent acceleration i just okay as i said that i just completely missed this guy all around me the only thing is there's a lot of jitteriness with the tracking oh there's a lot of jitter whenever you move side to side and i think that's because the pulling rate on this mouse is really low uh, the pulling rate is sort of like the refresh rate of the mouse but honestly it doesn't really matter that much because it's still really accurate and it's still like honestly playable get the prot two boots hey buddy give me your sword he's so weak just please oh my god he has a knockback rod dude get away from me please just die just die just die just die okay i got him um I need to take care of this guy before I can equip my sword. Thank you very much. I don't have another speed pot on me, unfortunately. Okay. Let's see who is losing this fight. This guy is weak. I'm just gonna clean him. <laughs> okay, GG, dude. He said, brah, I'm so sorry, dude. But you got killed by someone who's using a mouse from the 1980s. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, anyways, I think that is going to be enough for this video because that is as much as my sanity will allow. Honestly, it was not that bad using this mouse. I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but it was a lot more playable than I thought it was going to be. And that's partly because the tracking was actually like really accurate and I can actually click pretty fast on this thing. So that's, that's great. Some questions that I didn't address while I was recording the clips. Um, I bought this mouse from eBay. I think I got it from around 30 bucks. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this isn't the oldest Apple mouse. I think there is an even earlier model, but that thing's like a grand. So I'm not spending a thousand dollars for a mouse that is completely trash. The shape is literally a rectangle. I mean, it's an awful shape, but I mean, honestly, like who cares? Like it, it, this mouse is a meme. But yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, my cape is going to be in the description if you want to buy it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.